5.30 in the morning. There's an eclipse in Wyoming. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea how we just did this, but we are leaving the garage at 4.35 in the morning to fly to Wyoming to see the eclipse today. This is, this is amazing that we got out of there. <laughs> because it's too dark because it's earlier than people should be awake <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah people aren't supposed to be awake this early Fleming traffic, experimental A2, 9 Rocket Charlie taking off from a 16, departing to the southwest. Fleming. Hello. Hi. We are on our way to Casper, Wyoming. And we're in South Dakota now. It was an early morning and uh, I was a little like iffy on how I was going to enjoy getting up early, but I'm in a great mood. So we got out of bed about 4 a.m., uh, got the car all packed up. We had everything really kind of set aside the night before, but got everything in the car, got the kiddos in the car. And we were at the airport by, oh, I don't know what time. Out, out the door by 4.45. Yeah, at the airport, maybe 5.10, and we were in the air by 5.45. Woo, woo! So that is our new best time from waking up to taking off in an hour and 45 minutes. Like, that's pretty awesome for us. I mean, some people are morning people, but... With, with two of these guys, two <laughs> kiddos. That, that, that's the tricky part. I'd, I'm very proud of us. Go team. Yeah. So we are going to uh, a place actually just outside of Casper, Wyoming, because there is no room at Casper, Wyoming for little old us. They've been booked up for a while. So we are going to Harford Field, which is just east of Wyoming. It is a little dirt strip um, called there. The lady seemed... Uh, very nice, very friendly. Invited us to a taco bar. <laughs> so we're gonna fly there. They said it's a, it's like a 4,000 foot dirt strip, like 80 feet wide. They said it's nice and smooth. We are doing a little bit of storm dodging, and we've been flying kind of low just because it's hazy. It's early mornings. Yeah, we got real lucky. There's a little, there's just like a perfect corridor between two massive storm systems that went right from our home base basically all the way to uh, Wyoming. So we are taking that. What is this? We are now flying directly over Interstate 29. Whoop, whoop. We'll give you a second to look that one up on your map. Um, and we were just talking about, uh, we took a road trip to Wyoming when, I don't know, eight years ago, 10 years ago. Uh, yeah, That was Montana. All. We went all the way to Montana. Yeah. yeah so we went yeah. through Wyoming into Idaho. Coming back, I was just like, I, yeah, I couldn't, I was going crazy. So it's nice to fly this time. Yeah, so we're chugging along. Uh, we are showing that we're going to be, we're going to we're gonna make a pit stop in Custer, South Dakota. Custer, that's the place with those animals, right? The Custer State Park? Oh. I'm, I'm sure there are animals there. No, like where you can drive through and see buffalo and stuff. Oh, yeah, I think that's right. It's, yeah. uh, you know, by Mount Rushmore, all yeah. that fun stuff. Uh, you know what? I don't want to turn yet. And while he's doing that cabin check, EJ is asleep. He was so talkative this morning on the way in in the car, and he was talking about the eclipse, and he's like, make sure you have your eclipse glasses, Daddy. <laughs> and Dash was sleeping for, oh, and now he just spit up, was sleeping for most of the morning and he just woke up got some burps and food 
and uh, he's been a smi he's smiling in the morning, so he's happy. So that's a check-in. Yeah. Um, sh we're shooting to be at uh, Custer County Airport at 8.40 Central. Um, do a quick pit stop, stretch the legs, top off with fuel because the airport we're going to doesn't have fuel. Um, and then we're going to head out from there. And uh, it looks like it's going to be less than an hour flight from Custer County to Harford Field. Kilo Hotel Alpha Delta. So we should be there about, uh, this is saying if we don't stop at Custard, we'll be there at 9.27 a.m. Central, so call it 8.30 Mountain. Um, what time is the eclipse? So the eclipse starts at 10.22. So that's when the sun just, or the moon just starts touching the sun. Um, you get maximum eclipse at 11.43 a.m. Mountain, and it finishes at 1.09 p.m. Mountain. So, 8.30, so if we have a half an hour pit stop, we should be getting there an hour before the clip starts. Total eclipse of the so, we're looking good. Oop. We were planning on going to, where was it, York, Nebraska? There was a big group from Minnesota that was going to fly down to York. And it looks like most of Nebraska is going to have some pretty cloudy weather all day today. So, I feel real bad for... Everyone that was paying a lot of money for hotel rooms yeah, and no driving kidding. and flights in from all across the country to see this, and it sounds like it's going to be cloudy. So, what were you telling me? The hotels in <laughs> Cody or no? Uh, so I think I think it was Casper where we're going. For funsies, I looked up to see what a hotel room was going for in Casper, Wyoming, uh, last night. Uh, the cheapest one was three thousand dollars. Uh, and there was one open for $4,500. $4,500 for one night in a hotel in Casper, Wyoming. So, yes. yeah. I can think of a lot of things I'd want to do with $4,500. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll sleep in a tent on the side of the road for $4,500. No kidding! Wow. I could, I could grin and bear it for one night. Yeah, no kidding. So... That's the update. Uh, we'll probably fill you in when we get a little closer to Custer. So, till then, see ya. See ya. <sighs> <laughs> We're uh, just under an hour out of Casper. Uh, the clouds finally broke up, so basically we are flying, you know, clear skies. A little hazy, but. Uh, no clouds behind us, no below us, no clouds above us. So we made it through the uh, the crud that covered almost all of South Dakota. The rain is. And we just did our first in-flight potty of the trip. Um, we were at 12,500, and EJ said, "I have to poop." Sound familiar? But, turns out that was a false, false alarm. alarm. He just had to pee, I, and we could handle that. I had plastic bags just in case. Yeah, so a, a bit exciting. Um, but that was silly. It was silly? It was, it was. We're good to go. We're 57 minutes out of uh, Har Harford Field. That made the time go actually really fast. Yeah, when you I get in a little bit of a panic. I feel like we had like a half an hour there where I was in the back seat with EJ like... <laughs> How's this going to work? So, we got clear skies. Got a 17 knot headwind, which is not fun, but it's better than the 34 knot headwind we had before. So, making our way. Check in soon. Yeah. Hi. Want to say bye, EJ? Bye. Traffic one zero eight Tango Echo turning downwind uh, full stop. So this is what the uh, frequencies sound like. This is one two two eight, one of the common Unicom frequencies out here. There are a lot of people flying into uh, Unicom fields. It's just been almost non-stop in the background. Wow. Roger that. We'd like to get fuel first. Yeah, so, and of course, when I say that, everyone stops Roger. talking. <laughs>
We'll proceed to the uh, southeast of the segmented circle, is that right? Douglas traffic, light port 10, Tango Echo, uh, turning base, one way Car for traffic, experimental 829 or Echo Charlie, five miles east, uh, 6800 descending, uh, inbound will make a left upwind 25, Harford. Here's the airport we're going to right down there. Harper traffic, experimental liner, I tell you, short final, 2-5, Harper. Definitely got cooler. Yeah, definitely daddy, cooler. Daddy, I bet you it's 10 degrees cooler daddy, right now. Daddy, 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 oh. look. Yep. Are you excited for your first eclipse? Yeah. <laughs> Turn around every now and then I get a little bit <laughs> So we've got about 15 minutes left and we've already felt the temperature drop and also it's starting to get really, really gray out. Dash got really upset. Um, there's something in the air. There's some... Mommy? What? <laughs> Nothing. Maybe we should just enjoy yeah, the moment. I'm enjoying the moment. <laughs> Dash just had a major eclipse spit up. <laughs> now he's feeling better. So 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna let people that are better at photography get the photography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll just take their pictures because it's the same sun. We'll just enjoy this. We'll just and enjoy it. Wow, it's getting a lot cooler. Yeah, there's definitely this grayish tinge everywhere now. Strip. We can't thank our hosts enough. Oh, 
But yeah, the taco bar, the hospitality, the friendship, the yep. people that we met. Yeah. So. <laughs> it wasn't a hotel. And we and this is uh, what is the Harford Field. Harford. Harford Field. Yep. Yep, the Irwins. Harford. So thank you to the Irwins for thank hospitality. You. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank we you. enjoyed it. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's time to try to start getting home. Next stop. And plan the next eclipse trip. Plan the next eclipse. So next stop, Custer, <laughs> South Dakota. Bye. DJ, see the, the people in the mountain? Can you see the people's faces carved onto the mountain? Huh? Can you, can you see it? Yeah. Isn't that cool? So this was a day. This was a heck of a day. It was a fantastic day. So stepping back, this past weekend we were like, do we really want to take a day trip to see the eclipse? And I was like, I don't know, Eddie, should we? And I can say right now, knowing what I know, I would have missed out on one of the best things I've ever seen, like, <laughs> ever. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. So. We are chugging along now, somewhere over, well, ironically enough, we're within a few miles of uh, Huron, South Dakota, which is where we stopped and got fuel on our way out this morning. Uh, things couldn't be different than they were this morning. We we're cruising along at 9,500, uh, a few little fluffy scattered clouds below us, but it's smooth. We got a 25 knot tailwind, and we're chugging along at 187 knots ground speed. And we'll be home in an hour and nine minutes. Yeah, so we left our house at 4.35. Yep, alarm went off, 4.35. Well, the alarm, yeah. And oh, I'm sorry. Alarm went off at four. Alarm went off we left at our house at 4.35. Uh, wheels up at 5.45. Um, we're going to be getting in at 7. Landing at 7. 7.21. 21. Back at home about... 8.15. Yeah. But man, we did a lot. And we saw some amazing stuff. Yeah. No. It, and I, I, I was listening to a lot of people that said that you'll never get an eclipse and the, just the feelings of it unless you experience it and I didn't get it until now so I'm glad we went yeah it was worth the trip yeah. um, been a long day in the air but it's like I said it's been good uh, haven't had much turbulence so we didn't really get a lot of pictures or videos or anything like that during the eclipse we really focused on being present and in the moment and really just enjoying it as a family. Nothing really would do that it justice. That was a loud sneeze. Bless you. Gesundheit. Nothing would really do it justice. That's right. You know? With our iPhones and our, you know, kit lenses on our DSLR, yeah. we're not going to hear it. Oh, so. man, that is the loudest sneeze ever, kiddo. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. And 2024 is the next one. Don't know where we're going to go for that one, but, but we're we'll, going to see it. We're going to see that one too. And we figured that EJ would be 10 and Dash would be 7. I think 9 and 6 is what we're nine, thinking. 9 and 6. Seven years from now, EJ's chilling out watching some dino trucks in the front seat here. Dash is snoozing away in the back. Huh? EJ, do you want to say hi to the camera? Over hello. here. This. Say hello. Hi. 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 So, what did you think of the eclipse? Very good. Can I pause this so you could talk for a little bit? Oh. Tell the camera what you did today. Um, so camera, I watched I watch dino tricks on the side. 
It's what? got its priorities. What, what else did you do? Did you do anything else besides watch dino trucks? No. Huh? Did you maybe see an eclipse? No. Nope. <laughs> well. Well, we have pictures of you seeing the eclipse. I'm glad we enjoyed it. Yep. <laughs> but, and Dash didn't seem appreciative either, yeah. come to think of it. So if I could just chime in, so but my, the coolest things I thought about the eclipse were how it got really cold, yep. how it got really gray, yep. how it got really like eerily quiet, and then the prairie dog started going nuts. Yep. And then it got dark, and then the moment where it covered in totality, we could see the corona, and it was the most beautiful natural thing I have ever, ever seen. And we could see the stars and the sunset all along the entire horizon. And I just wanted to kiss you a lot. <laughs> yeah. So that was ever, cool. Moral of the story is if you ever get a chance to see a full eclipse. Do it. Do it. It is worth it. Travel. Get up at 4.30 in the morning. I, four. No, for me it was three. Yep. Get up at four. Travel 800 miles. I don't know how far. We went a long ways. Life is short. We went this many miles today. It was worth every single one of them. So. Yeah. Until the next trip. 2024. 2024. Well, we're going to take another flying trip before 2024. Well, the next total eclipse in 2024. The next flying trip will be soon. Will be soon. Oh, by the way, 190 knots ground speed with 26 knots of tailwind. See you later. Bye.